Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create random music using Ableton Live's built-in MIDI effects. So we're going to go from something that sounds like this to something that sounds like this. So the simple project I have here is a single track with a Rhodes instrument that comes with Ableton Live and it sounds like this. And so as my input, I'm just going to select this little region here, press Shift Command M to create a MIDI clip. And then I'm literally just going to add a single note here. So let's add just a C. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the arpeggiator. What the arpeggiator does is it takes a series of MIDI notes and then it kind of plays them in sequence depending on a bunch of different parameters here. We've turned this kind of single event into a series of eight notes determined by the rate here. So I can change the rate. And then of course you can change the number of steps here to shift it up octaves as well. All right, next let's add the random effect, which again is part of the MIDI effects. I'm going to add that next in the chain. What random does is it takes a MIDI event and then given some probability indicated by this chance knob, it'll kind of transpose it up given the number of choices it has. So 12 by default here. If I increase the probability, then some of the notes will get transposed up by this amount. And if I set it to 100%, then every single note gets randomized. The problem now is that it sounds kind of out of key because it's just playing completely random chromatic notes. So let me drag the scale plugin in. Again, it's part of the MIDI effects. So given some MIDI note that comes in, it'll map it along a musical scale. So you can see that these black boxes represent the black keys. So you have the C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, etc. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the black notes. What this means is that regardless of what notes are coming in, we'll always get quantized to the C major scale. Our velocity is static, but we can grab this velocity plugin. And what we can do here is set the different range of velocities here by kind of adjusting this curve so that we have a limited range. And what's cool is that this also has a built in randomizer which you can see represented by this range here. So it'll kind of randomize the velocity coming in and out. So we've effectively taken a single static note and turned it into basically a kind of like an auto generated infinite melody that changes in velocity and pitch and is in a musical scale. And of course, now we can play with these parameters. So I can bring this to 16th notes again. I can change it so that it plays up to two octaves. Then I can bring up a delay plug in here. And I can also make it so that the random plugin doesn't only go up in pitch, but goes both up and down. So I can select bi-directional here. And of course, there's no reason you are stuck with just one note here. I just wanted to use one note to keep it simple, but I can draw in a second note here, which will get fed into our arpeggiator. So if I double click on the clip here and enable the clip envelopes with this button down here from this drop down, I have access to all the plugins I've loaded in this track, including the arpeggiator randomizer and everything we've seen so far. So for example, I can grab the arpeggiator and grab the synced rate and then kind of modulate that by I can hit B and kind of draw that in with my pencil. I can change the gate lengths as well. And then I can go to my random plugin and I can change the probability of the notes being randomized. The other cool MIDI plugin you can use here is pitch and pitch literally just transposes the entire MIDI data. So I can drag the pitch at the beginning here. So what I can do now is change the pitch using a clip envelope here. So again, we're adding another level of randomization. So I'm going to grab my pitch plugin here and then change the pitch as my parameter. And I'm going to go to my arpeggiator and we're going to change the steps. And if I go back to my plugin, notice all the knobs that I've assigned are automatically being moved here. 
The other MIDI plugin you can use is Chord here. So I'm gonna insert the Chord before the scale mapping. What Chord does is it allows you to add six different offsets relative to the note coming in. Let's start off with nothing. Then maybe we'll add a plus five semitone. And then maybe we'll add an octave higher. So let me load up an 808 here. And so I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna select the region, Shift Command M to create a MIDI clip. And then I'm just gonna go down here and draw a single note going on the kick drum, which is our lowest note here. Again, I'm gonna add the arpeggiator so that we're gonna get a steady rhythm going here. That's a little too fast, so let's change it to quarter notes. So again, I'm gonna add my random MIDI effect here. And let's see what that sounds like now. So we're only getting one note at a time. So let me add a chord here so that we can just... And we can add some swing here in the arpeggiator as well. And of course we can lower our global tempo here. And I can go and duplicate my roads here and instead of the roads, we can maybe just look for a pad sound. We're starting off with literally just a C note in all three of our tracks. So this is what it sounds like with all the MIDI effects turned off. And this is what it sounds like with the MIDI randomization. Definitely this music sounds very kind of computerized and random and it's not very exciting or interesting. But I think the point here is not to use this to create an entire song, although you definitely can, but it's more to sprinkle some of these elements throughout a song. If you find things sounding a little bit repetitive, you can just sprinkle in an arpeggiator, a randomizer, a scale quantizer, and maybe just turn it on for a few bars or two just to add a little bit of variation between two different parts. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next. Thank you.